my dear beautiful friends it's me sara welcoming you to my channel today we are going to create this look in just 30 minutes also i'm going to share a few techniques that i do to fast forward this process so let's get started On the clean face, I'm going to start with the moisturizer followed by a sunscreen. I like to mix liquid highlighter with my foundation to get a dewy effect and nice glow. As you see, I'm not using a primer because my sunscreen is more than enough. I'm going to mention all the products that I use in the description box. Now I'm going to define my face with Krylon Stick Contour. I like this product because it is super easy to blend and is long lasting. Remember, to avoid mistakes, always do the contour first so that you can correct it with a concealer if at all anything goes wrong. The shape of my face is old, so I'm going to contour accordingly. For concealer, I'm again using Krylon. Remember, stipple where you want more coverage as I'm doing it for under eye and swoop where you just want a thin layer. This is the golden rule for doing a perfect base. As it is a day makeup look, you want to keep it as natural as possible. So I like to tap nude shade of lipstick by Nykaa on the apple of my cheeks. It gives a very natural blush. To fix everything in its place, I like to go in with MAC Studio Fix Powder. For blush, I'm using this very nudey, browny, pinky, salmon colored blush by Sugar Cosmetics to give my face a definite shape. This same product is amazing to create a transition shade in the crease of your eyes. Now I'm going to create a socket with a brown eyeshadow. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay to drop your makeup. Now I'm using a very nice dull golden color eyeshadow, only in the center and inner corner of the eyes. Now with the highlighter that I'm going to use for the face, I like to highlight my brow bone and inner corner of the eyes. With the same brown eyeshadow, I'm going to create definition to my eyes. As I don't wear kajal, this step is must. With the same product, I'm going to fill my eyebrows. Remember, first make the outline and then fill in. Now I'm filling upper waterline with Lakme Kajal. This step really makes a difference, trust me. I draw these guidelines with the same brown eyeshadow for eyeliner, so that I don't mess it up. And then without any disturbances, I try to follow those guidelines and do a perfect liner. I love this mascara by Essence. What I do is coat a layer on the upper side first and then apply it as usual. It will make your lashes look thick without using false lashes. Now I'm going to highlight my cheekbones with the same highlighter. For lipstick, I'm going to use a nude color as I'm wearing a bright color sari. Remember to dab the excess with a tissue and reapply. This is for your lipstick to last long. I'm going to do this hairstyle as it is super easy and it hardly takes 10 minutes. Make sure your hair blow dried and straight. Then go with an iron machine and curl it like this. It 
is very easy. Take a small section of hair and then roll your iron machine downwards. Don't forget to prep your hair with heat protect spray and use a hair spray after you are done to lock your hairstyle in place. Finish this look with a beautiful smile, a smile is the only ornament that completes your beauty. If you enjoyed this video, do like it and share it with your friends and family. Also, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe it and hit the bell icon.